I'm Carl here for Pro TV. So, when we're talking to customers about lenses, we often find people get confused by crop sensors and what they do to the focal length of the lens. So, we thought we'd make this video to try and clear up some confusion. The first thing you need to understand is that the true focal length of a lens never changes. A 50mm lens might look different on different camera systems, but it is always a 50mm lens. So regardless of which size sensor it's designed for, a 50mm lens is always a 50mm lens. I say this because lenses are designed for specific sized sensors. So you can have a 50mm lens that's designed to cover full frame, and a 50mm lens that covers a micro four thirds size sensor. But that's not changing the focal length. If you have a micro four thirds camera and you use an ordinary adapter to put the full frame 50 millimeter lens on it, you'd get the same field of view as the micro four thirds 50 millimeter lens. So when we refer to lenses as being full frame or micro four thirds, what's changing is what's called the image circle. Every lens projects an image onto a sensor. That's the basic job of the lens. All that's changing when lenses are designed for different sensors is how big that image that they're projecting is. So as that image circle shrinks to cover smaller sensors, the image is simply being cropped down. So on the left here, we have sensor sizes, full frame, then super 35, and then micro four thirds. And on the right, we have a 50 millimeter lens projecting an image. It can project all of that image to cover the full frame sensor, or a smaller section of the image to cover a smaller sensor. So all you have to do is make sure that your lens is covering the size of your sensor. If you put a micro four thirds lens on a super 35 millimeter camera, you'll have a huge black vignette. But with a full frame lens, you'll get exactly the same results as you would have with a lens which is designed for super 35 millimeter, because all the rest of the image is just being thrown away. So, to summarize, a 50 mm lens will produce an image with a focal length of 50 mm. Different lenses will then project either all of that image or smaller middle sections of the image, depending on the size sensor that they're designed for. This means if you have a camera with a smaller sensor, you don't have to pay for optics to project an image larger than you need it to be. The lenses can also be smaller and are easier to build because they don't need as much glass in them. Where this gets a little confusing is when people talk about the crop factor of a sensor. Full frame is used as the standard size, then APS-C or super 35 mm is roughly a 1.6 times crop. Then micro four thirds is about a two times crop. When you put two shots from different sized sensors, but with the same lens next to one another, it will be as if the smaller sensor was using a longer focal length. We call this the equivalent focal length. To find out that what they will look like, you times the focal length of the lens by the crop factor. So a 50 millimeter on a full frame shows a 50 millimeter image. On a super 35 millimeter, it's around 80 millimeters. And on micro four thirds, it's around 100 millimeters. So the last piece of the puzzle is speed boosters, or focal reducers. These are a style of adapter that is designed to take advantage of a very specific situation. If you're using a full frame lens on a smaller sensor, a lot of the image that's being projected is just being wasted. So a speed booster is an adapter that has some optics in it to shrink that whole full frame image down to the smaller size. This is why speed boosters have a crop factor of their own in their name. You find 0.64 times speed boosters or 0.71 times ones. This is referring to how much the speed booster is shrinking the image. This makes the resulting image wider, sharper, and it lets in more light. But for focal length, it makes matters even more confusing. Say we have a full frame Canon lens on a super 35 millimeter FS7 camera with a 0.71 times speed booster in between the two. So now we have to take the 50 millimeter lens, 
times it by the 0.71 to get 35.5 millimeters, and then apply the 1.6 times crop factor of the camera to get 56.8 millimeters. And that's actually much closer to the field of view the lens would have had on a full frame camera. Now the disadvantage of this is of course you have to use full frame lenses if you're using a speed booster. Now hopefully that helps. If you have any more questions, you can of course leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.